Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Bea and I'm glad you're here. Welcome back to week 18 for Everything with Wing, a weekly series for mini canvases from recycled cardboard with all kinds of wings. If you want to see more, I have the playlist in the iCard in the upper right corner. This time I did start with some scrap of my own patterned paper. I simply did glue it on with a glue stick and then went over with Mod Podge mat. While the mop pouch is drying, I stamp with Mersomark and then emboss with a black glittery embossing powder. The stamp I use is a stampotic stamp called Mothfab with the number 6048. Whenever there is glitter in the embossing powder, I tend to start from the back side. It just makes the glitter less flying away, in my opinion. And just so you know, I do have a heat resistant foil on my table. So I don't ruin my tabletop and I don't put things on fire. Good thing I have quite a stash of napkins from my mom, so I never run out of butterflies for wings. After removing the white layers, I do glue it on the same light cardstock scrap I have used for stamping. I did speed up this part where I'm fussy cutting the girl four times. The rest is sped up two times. With the black acrylic paint I did add some dark edges.
Again, I did speed up four times for the fuzzy cutting. I don't like the white borders you get from fussy cutting, so usually I do color the edges either with a distress ink or sometimes with black marker. I had to think a bit what medium to use to color in this time. As you can see, I did use the Aqua Markers by Spectrum Noir. Sorry, I know I'm a bit out of frame here, but I did simply color the hair with the brown. It was a little bit too much saturated for my taste, so I did dilute it with a water barrel brush. Just gluing on the stamped image usually seems a little flat to me. So I grab my ballpoint tool and some foam to give everything a more 3D shape. Here I'm making sure that I don't cover up the holes for binding when I'm gluing down my quote, which I have again printed on my computer. I did use foam dots to glue the stamped image, just to enhance the 3D effect. I 
hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment and share on whatever social media you are on. And in case you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications.